Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my new silver pothos. Found this out at Lowe's. I've had it a few weeks now and it is doing great. Take a look at these leaves. They are so pretty. Now I've seen other YouTubers have this plant but I've never seen it out anywhere for sale and I just happened to run into it. It was the only one they had and I decided to get it. The leaves on this plant, they are kind of waxy and kind of velvety, which is really surprising to me. They're real thick. It's a gorgeous plant and I love it. It's already putting out new baby right there since I got it. It's doing really, really well. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how to take care of it. Now, like I said, this is a pothos, and it's very similar to the care of a pothos. It's originally from Southeast Asia, and it does love temperatures between 65 and 85 degrees. I have this one sitting in a south window. I would like to hang it. Just don't have anything to hang it on right now, but it comes on a hanger. I would like to hang it. I can't wait to see how this is going to look when it gets really, really long and full. It likes bright indirect light. Doesn't like harsh direct light. It will scorch the leaves, so you have to be really careful about that. You can sit in a window, just make sure that it's not touching the window because it can get really hot in the summertime, especially if you live in Texas, like I do. You want to water enough to keep the soil moist but not soggy. I wait till the top one inch is dry and then I water it. It does love humid weather, so you can mist it and it should do great. This type of plant will do great in a bathroom or a kitchen where it's more humid. Now I'm going to water this weekly, but every two weeks I'm going to give it the miracle Grow plant food, just mixed in water. And then every two weeks I'm going to give it fertilizer. I use the Alaska Fish Fertilizer 511 mix it half strength and give it every two weeks it likes a well draining soil and i do use the miracle grow fast growing formula that's not what's in this one it came from the nursery like this so i don't know what kind of soil it is but it's a similar type soil you can repot in the spring and if you do repot just go up one pot plants don't usually do too well if you put them in too big a pot now you can propagate by cutting at the little nodule and then you can place it directly in soil or you can propagate it in water just like you do a regular pothos. You need to keep it pruned, trim off any dead, discolored, damaged or diseased leaves, which I just did because some down underneath here when it comes from the nursery, sometimes it'll come like that. You'll either have dead leaves or you'll have leaves from overwatering, yellow leaves. And I did notice this one. I thought I saw a brown tip somewhere. Yes, right there. And that can happen when it's being transferred from the nursery to the department store. Sometimes it's overwatered. Sometimes it's not watered enough, but that can happen. Once you get it home, you can get it on a regular watering system and you shouldn't have any problems. It is susceptible to milly bugs and scales. You can treat that with a cotton ball or swab dipped in alcohol. You can also spray it with a soapy water. I put about an eighth of a bottle of detergent, dish, dish detergent, and fill the rest with water and spray it. And that helps a lot with keeping pests off of them. It is mildly toxic to pets and humans, so you want to be careful not to let your pets play with this plant or chew on it, but it's a very easy plant to take care of, and I just think this is one of the prettiest ones. I'm going to keep you updated on how well it's doing, but I think it's going to do just fabulous here. If you have any questions about this plant, be sure and link them below. If you're new here, be sure and subscribe and tap the bell for notifications on more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.